It's called Glen Farclas. It's a um, single malt, 21 year old. Um, it says on the back of it here, imported by uh, Zazarak. And if you remember last week when we were talking about the, um, the Kirkland uh, bourbon, that was a uh, uh, from 1792, that was also a Sazerac brand. So that's very interesting, finding a Sazerac brand, 21. Okay, then I had found this at uh, Con, uh, uh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Yeah. It's, uh, and it says right there, Trader Joe's. Uh, Trader Joe's Secret Highland Single Malt uh, Scotch Whiskey, aged 19 years old, distilled in the year 2000. Now, I bought this for Ryan a while back. Now, he never reimbursed me, but <laughs> that's what kids do. Um, and um, this was... I'll buy you dinner tonight. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. This was uh, just under 60 bucks for the bottle, something like that. So I'm guessing this cost about half of what this cost. So which one do you want to try first? I'll start with the you know, good stuff. Okay, so let's go with the good stuff first. So um, we decided to do this properly. We are going to go neat in snifters. And because we have traveling to do, we, uh, we, won't, go. we won't overdose on those. Let's see, one of these is from Scotland. No, two of them. Two of these are from Scotland. The Glen Farclay glass. The Glenfiddich. Uh, Glenfiddich. Yeah, that's what it's got. It's exactly. got a deer on it. Glenfiddich. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So now we're drinking the Glen Farclay's class, Farclay's Highland Single Malt Scotch. Now Highland, they're both, it's interesting, these are both Highlands. And I actually like Highland because Highland's a little bit sweeter. Uh, McAllen is one of my favorite Highland scotches. So, um, so let's see what we got here. It's nice, kind of caramel -y, at least for me. So I get a good bite back in here. Uh, definitely a good bite. What's the proof? So this is 43, so it's um, 86 proof. So it's not a real high proof. It's got, um, yeah, the, you, can, you can definitely taste the, uh, the, the, the caramel from the barrels. And uh, it's interesting, you get a bite in your throat, mm -hmm. it hits my tongue. Yeah, but true to Highland, it's just it's a little bit sweet, which, which I like. It's sweet and light. I, I, for me, Highland uh, Scotch is, is closer to Irish whiskey. And, um, you know, I know some people are, are, are really big on the, the Laphroaig and uh, the um, Lagavulin, which I can drink about one glass. And then after that, I just can't do it anymore. It's just a bit much for me. So um, uh, let's... Uh, I really like this this bottle. Um, I found out about this when I was on a trip to Arizona. <coughs> Apparently, you don't like it too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. I just <laughs> and there was a big kilt bar, mm -hmm. and there was like a Scotch sommelier, whatever you call that guy. Mm -hmm. He was wearing a kilt, probably a Scotch sommelier. Oh, sure, maybe and, a whiskey sommelier. Oh, okay. And um, I did a flight. This one was the cheapest one um, by far, really? and then there were another two. And he was telling me that this bottle of Glen Farclas drinks like a bottle twice its twice its price. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. you know the the low hundreds, um, apparently it's a deal in comparison to the high two hundreds for the other bottles. You know, one of the things that I do like about it, I've never tried this before. It's it's got it's got a lot of body. Mm. There's for me, um, it's leaning more toward like a bourbon because bourbons have a lot of body to them, and and I'm really more of a bourbon 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 and wine more than anything else. Um, maybe uh, I mean Irish whiskey next, and then you know Scotch uh, third, but um, but it it it's very smooth. It sure it, is. It's very drinkable. And I'm going to save just a teeny bit because I'm going to go again and try it. So let's go to the, now this is by uh, Alexander Murray. Alexander Murray's um, known for importing um, 
lots of good scotch to the United States, uh, brand, uh, you know, private labeling it, um, whether it be a Trader Joe's or Alexander Murray or other brands. So let's see the 19 year old that's half the price. Now that's, that's I've seen this bottle here where it didn't say Trader Joe's, but it did say Alexander Murray, 2000, 19 year old at uh, Total Wine and More, and it was $99. Okay, so, so pretty comparable. Yeah. Price range at least. Yeah. Right. And, and this one is a second time with one of these Trader Joe's labeled bottles. Uh, this one was from this last holiday season. And then two years ago, holiday season, I got an 18 or 19 year old. Mm -hmm. And it just slipped down. I drank the whole thing in a couple of days. Well, let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Very different. It's got the sweetness that you'd expect from Highland, but the the for my palate. It, it's leaning more to, to, toward uh, like dark dried fruit. Hmm. Um, I'm maybe a little bit of a, a cedarish tinge to it. Um, it's smooth. It's very smooth at the beginning, but it's got some heat afterwards, but it doesn't burn. I don't like the nose on this one as much, you know, but I do like the flavor of it. Boy, it's really hard for me to choose between the two. Of them. I mean, they're both good. Um, check this one out. Oh yeah, that was smart to keep some. Would you want? Did you want? To add yeah, that? Maybe just just a little bit, just to check. An eighth of a gram. Well, I mean, we can go older, but that's okay. Whoops, a little bit on my hand. Angel sugar. <laughs> when I was in Indiana at uh, the Indiana Distillery, um, the guy said, "Hey, if you if you buy our um, our rye, well, we'll let you bottle." It. And it was fifty bucks for the rye. So I said, "Yeah, sure, I'm in." Right. And so I'm bottling it right out of the cask. I'm pumping it, and I'm, I'm kind of making a mess. And, <laughs> and, and it's, the guy's looking at me like you, a hole. Yeah. And and I look at him, I smile, I go, "Angel share." <laughs> and all he could do is just smile and go, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it was so new. They didn't even have labels. So I brought the bottle back with some other bottles mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in, in the, the cargo hold in United. And I wasn't sure if TSA was going to let it go through. I I'd put a seal on the top, but there was no actual label uh, uh, to go along with the other one. So, so it could have just been moonshine? Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I got it home. But Nicely done. The, this is the island. Okay, so the, the Glen, God, I'm having a hell of a time. Glen Far class, class, Glen Far class. Um, for me, it's brighter. And I know that might sound weird, but it's got a brighter taste to it. Mm -hmm. it just, it's a little bit more poof, you know, it, it starts. The, um, it's a darker, it's a darker whiskey too, by a touch. This is the 21 year. This is the oh, 21 yeah, year. Darker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there this is yeah, the so 19 this is, year. Yeah. So this is what I have. Just to make sure yeah. I'm not messing no, that no, up. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. This is the 19. Right. So the, the 19 doesn't have quite the um, the kind of bright, explosive flavor. It's, it's good, and it, it's got a sweetness to it. I think we have a visitor. Oh, maybe not. She came and she left. She needs her drink. Can the all be on? Can the all be on? Come here, Taylor. Is it okay to have a little kid in a whiskey review? Taylor, would you like to be in a whiskey review? No. Oh, you wouldn't. Okay. Okay. Just in case. Do you want to smell it? Well, daddy, <laughs> daddy drinks it. You can't drink it, but you can smell it. You want 